today, we're going to dive deep into Zane PLR versus your Sheet Geek. I'm excited about conducting this video today. If you're new here, hey guys, welcome. I'm Sharita Deloach. And on this channel, I talk about how to turn your skills into cash by providing passive income tips for writers, publishers, and also creatives. If you are an OG, put OG in the comments if you have been here. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for the comments, the likes. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I really try to make sure that I comment back and that I'm conversing with you guys in the comments because your support means so, so very much to me. So if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video and hit the notification bell so when i upload a new video you will be the first to know now i really don't give a schedule here on youtube because sometimes when the creative juices are flowing i'm ready to post and get some information to you guys and that's just how passionate i am to make sure you guys are succeeding when it comes to creating passive income as a writer publisher or a creative so most of the time i'm going to post on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays if you really want to get the tea <laughs> when it comes to those subjects but sometimes i may put a, a video out there in between because that's how much information is out here and new discoveries i'm always finding and i just want to make sure you guys are the first to know i want to make sure you're up to par and you have all the things that you needed okay so if you are not already, go ahead and join my daily newsletter. That's where we can get a little bit more closer and you can dive into my community. This community means so much to me as well because I have over 500 writers, publishers, and creators that are ready to elevate their publishing game, their digital publishing game every single day. Plus, I'm also including a swipe file of 50 plus creative ways for you to turn your writing skills into money when you join my newsletter. Now, don't fret. The newsletter is not this massive, long, uh, you know, email. OK, so I know how that is. You get a ton of emails every day. But listen, my emails are very, very unique i send out three quick and valuable resources and tips when it comes to passive income my goal is to make sure that you get to the money honey okay i i say that a lot but i really really want to make things more easier for you to make sure you can get to your passive income streams faster and we're living in a time now where passive income streams are and i say it with the s are very e essential whether you are running your business as a writer, a publisher, a creative, you're a content creator. If you're running your business part-time, full-time, it does not matter. Maybe you're working a, a full-time job, part-time job. That doesn't matter. You don't have to be a full-time business owner. But my goal is to teach you those passive income streams and strategies that's going to help you to make more money. Okay, so I just believe that. You need to have more than one stream of income, even if it is you're doing some freelance work, you you know have publishing clients and those type of things, great. But you need to have some, some money working for you. So my goal is to do that. And I share a lot more than what I do on my YouTube channel here on the daily newsletter. So come on in. Plus, I also um, conduct a monthly workshop that's free too. So I would love to see you in the workshop there too. So once you um, go ahead and get on the email list, you can learn more about that as well. Okay. So I'm excited about these two amazing uh, women. Both of these are women led websites that uh, talk about all that publish, you know, PLR. Now the sheet gig, she's not just a fully PLR site. So, okay. But the reason why I want to do a versus with these two to compare is because they are similar or they're, they're similar in so many ways. And you can definitely benefit from both. You just got to figure out what your goals are and what you, you know, want to do. So when I do verses, I have like a checklist that I go by to make sure that I cover all the bases for you guys. So I'm going to um, put my pull my checklist up and right here on the screen, I'm just going to share with you guys 
like what I go by, like really what I go by when it comes to these sites. Now, when I say verses, it's not to say one is better than the other. Okay. I know a lot of people do verses and say, you know, they're trying to convince you that one is better than the other. They're both great in their own rights. And I'm going to make sure that I share that with you guys. Okay. So site overview, let's talk about the site overview. We're going to talk about the history and the reputation of these sites. So let me click escape here. And let's go to Zane PLR. Um, I've discovered Zane PLR in 2023, sometime in 2023. And um, I discovered the owner on YouTube. I actually, not YouTube. Yeah, it was YouTube and TikTok, TikTok. I also have a video that I'll put in the description as well that I did a whole overview just on, the, on Zane PLR. So go check that out. But I discovered her on TikTok and then I found out she was on YouTube. So I've been subscribed to both. And I thought, like, okay, I love to see um, women. If you don't know me by now, you know, I'm, I'm a very supporter of women, especially when it comes to the PLR sector, because we're so magical. You know, we, we make things happen. We're so creative. And if you're someone like me that I'm creative as well, but I mean, creative in other things. I'm just not creative in desi designing things. So it's so much of a benefit to me when there are other women creatives that create different things that I like, such as journals and, you know, PLR that I don't have to take the time to do it myself. So it's, it's a, it's a win-win. I get to support them. I get to spend money with them and put, um, you know, increase their bank account. But then I also get a amazing a PLR product that I can resell over and over again. So I can make money over and over again. It's, so it's a win-win. And I, I didn't have to sit down and, and create it because I'm a busy woman. You know, I have a wife. I, I don't have a wife. <laughs> I am a wife. I have a husband <laughs> and I have children. So I have a busy household and my day-to-day -day is very busy. So sometimes I don't have the time to create certain things okay so that's why we hire people to do these things so um zane plr i really really fell in love with her products and i'm gonna of course want to show you products from both of these amazing women um but i fell in love with her products because her products are very beautiful and she really really talks about that especially on tiktok about how her you know her products are beautiful and she plus also if you're into etsy you want to sell on etsy she talks about that a lot too so that she really really has um the thing she has etsy locked down okay <laughs> when it comes to so i love her site beautiful setup it's very easy to navigate you pretty much know where to go and the reason why i pin these both together uh, because they both are very versatile when it comes to planners and journals okay both in, have their own right and both uh you know are unique okay so with with zane plr she well her name is k k zane uh, but with k with zane plr she has planners and journals in here as well so i love that she has a variety of those okay so your chic geek zeke your chic geek my words. I don't know why I couldn't get my words together. Let me go to her site first because I just don't want to show, share this. However, um, your sheet geek, I actually have a, uh, wouldn't say personal relationship, but I am a part of her community. Okay. So she has a community that I'm a part of. Her name is Kim, Kim George. You can also find her on YouTube. That's where I found Kim was on YouTube. When I was discovering or getting on YouTube recording videos, I wanted to get more into more publishing. If you don't know my background, I owned a publishing company. I still own a publishing company. I just published books for myself and not other people. That's what I was doing before. I had a publishing company where I published books for other people. Great, great for years. Uh, great, great success. But when I started slowing down in October 2023, I said, you know, I want to get a little bit get a little bit more into publishing. I knew about low content books, such as journals and planners that I'm talking about today. I knew about them. I knew that you can create them. I just didn't know the aspects of everything. You know, when you don't know what you don't know, you know, you got to sit down when the te when the teacher appears, you have to sit down and learn. And that's what I did. And when I found Kim on YouTube, that's where I found her first. 
is I loved her YouTube. I was like, oh my God, this is so valuable. So of course I started downloading the free things and then she launched her, her course. Uh, from Publish to Profit, her, um, it's her signature course that she launched. So I'm also a part of that. That's not a, com well, we have a community attached to it, but it's a course. So that was the first thing that I learned about low content books. And then when she launched her journal course, her, jur her journal community, because I pay monthly for that, only seven bucks a month. I pay monthly for that. I said, you know what? I'm joining. You know, you have somebody that creates something. You're always going to get it. That's how I am with Kim. <laughs> I know she sees my name a lot. Um, anytime she has specials, I'm going to show you some of her products. I am on it. If Because I feel like this, if I'm not going to use it now, I'm going to have some use to it for it later. So let me go ahead and get it. That's how I am. Okay. So she has a great site here, but as far as site is concerned, she um, puts all of her products on pay him. And I'm going to go back to Zane PLR. It looks like she's using, I want to say Shopify. Um, this looks like, this is Shopify. She is using Shopify. I do know that. Okay. So she's using Shopify and your shit geek is using pay him. So I want you guys to see that when it comes to your passive income streams, where you host them matters and your wherever you host your especially digital products and things like that you want to make sure you're hosting on something that's easily accessible for you that you can use okay so they both are using both are using different ones shopify and a pay hip okay so this is your sheet geeks this is her store and so she is very much into journals as well and planners. Now the difference between Zane and your sheet geek is that Zane, when you download, for instance, if you download this money manifesting money manifestation journal, you're going to get the cover of the journal. Um, you're going to get the inside as well. Now with your sheet geek, you can, you can purchase in pieces so you can get some journal covers right here but then she also has where you can get some interiors right here okay so you have to purchase yours um different okay so it's one or the other but then some of them she does have bundles where the inside comes along with it and the covers so we're we'll discover that in just a moment so as far as site overview they both have a site that you can navigate easy is it's accessible um, and they both offer you know journal templates as well as planner templates as well okay so let's get into the content content quality okay so that's the next thing on my slide here is content quality i mean i'm just sliding <laughs> So content quality. So I'm going to go down here because I did purchase from both of these young ladies. And let me, um, let's look at Zane's first. So if you see this, you should be able to see this P this is a PDF that I downloaded. So I purchased the reading journal. Okay. So nice, very pretty, uh, very accessible here. I love that, you know, you can, she has a membership here. So she has that. And then she, I'll talk about license and things like that in a moment, but you can purchase the, um, once you get the, you know, the purchase that you decide to get here is the, the link to the Canva. So let me click on that here. And then what I'm going to do, I, I like using the Google <laughs> for some reason. So let me go over here and I'm just going to paste this here. All right. So once I paste that right there, you is it, again, it's in Canva. So most of both of them use Canva. Okay. So C A N V A dot com. They both use Canva. Okay. So looking at Zane PLR, I love this. It's um, definitely PLR. So I can make changes here. I can, you know, I can add my business name here. This is the reading tracker. I love this. It's nice design. So let me make this a little bigger for you guys can see. So you got a book review here and I'm definitely going to use this for myself. <laughs> so I don't plan. I, I may not, I, I might sell it. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to use this for myself. So book review there, book tracker, because if you, you know, like me, you're reading some books and things like that. Um, here's another reading tracker as well. Reading log. You got your monthly reading challenge. I love this uh, 50 book challenge. You got 100 book challenge. I love this. 
A to Z book challenge. So um, starts with, okay, so you got the start date, finish date. So books that begin with the A, a B, I like that. Okay, so this is the content and what it looks like. And it's PLR at its best, where you can definitely change the fonts. You can definitely change the cover. You know, you can change this cover up. You can put some different colors. So definitely you can do that. See, as these are my brand colors. So it all depends on what your brand colors look like. But if I clicked over here, I can use this as well. Just click. I love Canva, y'all. I just love how easy it is to use. So you can do that. Um, you can, you know, even the fonts, you can change the fonts. So you can do all of those things. Okay, so that's Zane PLR. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go back to my downloads and then I'm gonna pull up. I purchased these um six by nine um journal interiors. That's not what I wanted to. That's the interior. I wanted you guys to see the cover. Let me show you the covers. So I purchased um 10 KDP journal covers. So remember, I said with the, your sheet geek. You, if you want covers, you can get covers alone. If you want the inside, she has different products for that, which I love that. Okay. Um, so she makes it easy as well. So once you make your purchase, you can download right here and she uses Canva as well. So she gives you the link to the journal. Um, she also gives you some recommended design resources for low, low content books. So here also, I love that she pins, um, suggested video tutorials. So you have some tutorials, especially if you're new and then they both have their, you know, they both have their terms of use, which I'm going to go over in just a moment. But if, if I click here, I will be able to get access right here in Canva and you get access to those 10 journals. So you get access one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. It looks like it's 11. It might be 11. So these are very nice design. I love these designs here. So these are very nice and I would definitely, definitely use these not even just for, to sell, but for myself, you is definitely PLR. So you can add your own titles here. If you want to remove these, um, nice dandy, um, you know, Canva, not Canva, but these designs you can. So I love that. I love that you're able to move these designs right here. So you're able to do that. Um, if you don't want to use that, you are still able to make um, color changes as well. So even if you go to design, go to style, I can still change some color. I can't change the color of the actual design. Well, this one is letting me do it, but this design, no, that's, you see that's staying the same. So some designs will let you, you know, change the coloring. I, I think it depends on where you purchase it from or where you get it from, um, but you can do that. I think that's pretty nice. That's cute, <laughs> stands out. So you can do that as well. If you're building a brand, like a journal brand, that's what, Kim really emphasizes if you're building an entire brand, you know that uh, even a part of her course, she tells us about really having brand colors and, you know, having brand fonts. So when you are publishing your journals or your plans, your low content book uh, business, in which I have a couple of pen names that has different brands. So they have different colors. They have different styles of journals that I publish or planners that I publish on Amazon KDP. So that's something that she really, really teaches us. Okay. Now let's go back here. So now that you're able to see the content, both of them have great content um, quality. Um, they're, you know, they're very easy. The directions are there. Um, you pretty much know what you're getting. So you'll know. Okay. Now, um, content variety again, both of them pretty much have about the same variety. They both are, you know, PLR planners and journals. They both have, you know, courses that you can learn. I love that you have a place where you can learn, you can, you know, download different classes and things. So it's not, you're not just getting the actual PLR or you're getting the templates and then you're like nowhere to, you know, you don't have anywhere to go. They both have that. Now, um, when it comes to Zane PLR, I think she has a membership because as we saw in her product, let me go back. 
I know that I saw something about a membership. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Let me copy this and put that over here in Google so that we can compare the two right here. Okay. So it looks like she does have a community. If you want to download PLR products every month, it's called first class PLR. I'm not a part of this membership. Um, and I'm, I think that I probably will be just to make sure you, you know, just to give you guys a review on that but um she does have a membership as i mentioned earlier before your sheet geek does too kim does too she has uh for publish the profit that's the course that's the flagship course that i was a part that i have access to um and i paid for that one i'm also in the journal co um, creator collective so this is a monthly membership okay so this is the one that's seven dollars a month so if you're like me you want to create journals on kdp she get she holds nothing back <laughs> so this is seven dollars a month and i know you probably will ask you know what's the difference between the two there's very much different of course they're both di two different communities where publish the profit this she really goes into building a brand um, and you know there's a lot of other things in here as well but the journal um, creator collector this is all about um this is all about making sure that you get access to, you know, a community of people that are on the same pace as you, you know what I mean? So it, that's, that's what that right there is all about. Um, so that this is the collective, this is the um, monthly membership that you can get access to, um, right there. Okay. So they both have a community content variety now let's go into the license terms okay so remember i, I said i was going to come back to their terms they both have terms in here that's very important when you are purchasing plr products you got to make sure that um the terms are here okay you got to make sure that people understand and know uh, what they can and cannot do so right here where it says terms of use this is for um, your sheet geek. So her terms is used is by purchasing this item, you are automatically agreeing to the following. You may use this template for commercial use. This includes redesigning the interior, changing the fonts and more. It is highly recommended that you change your templates or add additional design elements to make them to make them to keep your Amazon account safe and create a unique experience for your customers. Let me emphasize on this because with PLR and Amazon KDP, which I may do a whole video about this um, because Amazon KDP is an amazing platform that you can publish, you know, not just con low content books, but your, you know, your nonfiction books, fiction books, amazing platform is like one of the number one platforms for authors but please know when it comes to plr and amazon has in place where they can detect if multiple you know the same journal or the same you know designs are being put on amazon kdp they might not detect it right away but you don't want your account to get banned i've seen people's accounts get suspended they don't have access anymore because you purchase plr products such as journals and planners especially the covers and you don't make changes okay so she highly recommends that you make changes okay so highly recommend that you do this and this is for commercial use this means you can't take kim's uh, so that's why i said hers is not PLR in a way that we know it, that I teach it here, but her, her templates are where you can use them for yourself. That means I can take these covers, um, add my own flair, my own tool, and I can upload them to Amazon KDB, KDP to sell. Now I cannot take her covers and sell them to other people as PLR. Okay. However, with Zane PLR, she had this is her so she has a commercial use license you're granted permission to use the template to create and sell a finished end product you cannot resell the canva template or the link okay so it's very important that you know these words and the licenses because it seems like especially with the plr land a lot of people have their way in their different licenses okay if you're familiar with the secret weapon plr 
there's a different you can take their templates and you can sell them on etsy you know you can sell them to other people you don't have to create it you they suggest that you make changes to it and then sell it but with with these two ladies they're saying hey make changes to it edit it put your branding on it um you can use this for web content you it can be broken down into smaller products you can add it to your sales funnel you can do those things it can be packaged but you cannot sell <laughs> the end products with plr rights that means if i recreated this journal right here right and i say just like earlier i was like you know if i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this for myself I can take this reading journal, I can recreate it, and I can sell it on my website as a reading journal. So that means people can go to my website and say, hey, I'm gonna download her reading journal and I'm gonna use it. But I cannot say to them, hey, here's a PLR reading journal that you can recreate for yourself and you can sell it to other people. You can't do that, okay? So you just, it, it makes it plain here okay you cannot offer this at master resale rights you cannot resell the templates and it, her, like hers cannot be added to a membership site with resale rights okay so you can add it to a membership site okay okay i have a membership so i can take this and i can add it to my membership for my people to use okay so I can do that, but I can't sell it to them. Okay. I hope this makes sense. I try to make sure that I break it down so it's understandable because it can get so tricky, but you have to make sure that you read the licenses of the person that you purchase from. Now, I know some of you are like, well, um, you know, how do I know uh, which one is legit or how do I know, you know, they'll license it before I purchase? Most of them have it on their website or even have it on their descriptions, okay? So let's take this one for example. This is Your Chic Geek, and these are 10, these are 15 KDP composition notebook covers for kids. So she tells you here that um, they're ready-made uh, for low content, what it includes, ready for upload, and that's there, okay? So that's there. To me, that's plain and simple. But then you, you know, just looking at this video, just so you know. Okay. Now, Zane PLR, she does have terms and conditions here on her site. So she has her her license and, and you know what you can and cannot do before you actually make your purchase. Okay. Which is very important. All right. So let's talk about pricing. Okay. Let's I think we talked about that just a little bit prices and membership plan they both have great pricing as far as zane plr a lot of her journals and things are 27 bucks you might find some for seven but 17 nine i haven't seen anything over that okay now we mentioned her membership she does have a membership so let me click on the membership and see how much her membership is so her membership is only $25 a month. Okay. So hers is $25 a month and you get access to unlimited PLR. Okay. So you can just check out the website. Of course, I'm going to put the links down below and you can check it out. Um, now I, I didn't know that she had two options. So she has the P the PLR license which you can get access and we, that's what we're talking about today. But she also has MRR, which is master resale rights. So she has it so where if you are a person that wants to have your own PLR site, okay? So if you want to have your own PLR site, you can get in her membership for $59 a month and she's going to give you the digital products and you can set up your own site. That's basically what this master resale rights is, okay? So she's saying you got to change the colors. It's, it's perfect for PLR shop owners, Etsy sellers, and those, those type of things that you want to share the actual Canva link to people. So if you're interested in starting your own PLR site, this one, this right here would be great for you, okay? So I, of course, I'll link them both in the description, okay? So now that we, we went over pricing, let's go over the user enfacement and the, the ease, the ease. Um, is it easy? You know, both websites are very easy to navigate. 
your she get used pay help easy is explainable is there straight to the point um zane plr she uses um right here what you call shopify so very easy easy to navigate you pretty much know where to go because uh, some sites are so not easy accessible <laughs> so yeah now let's talk about the support and resources um, now i'm again i'm very familiar with your sheet geek support top notch support is top notch um, if you have issues I, I will say this with your sheet geek um, before i had to use her website because i had a question about something um, or I, I can't remember what it was, but it was answered within 24 hours. So she's not, cause you know, some people have these contact me, what is it at? I think it was contact me on their websites and never answer. <laughs> they never answer. But you, as you see here, she has a, I think I did use this here. She has a, uh, way that you can get in contact, you get a message. So very much accessible if you are not a customer. Okay. So if you're not a customer, you're new to your sheet geek, you do have the option, especially on her website that you can get access here to ask questions. Um, Zane PLR, she's accessible via email. I had the opportunity to talk to her via email. So she's accessible there. I'm going to look in her instructions to see if she has any contact. Um, I, well, yeah, she does. So she has an email. This is the email that I use. So she uses email for issues. You can email and she does use her email. Okay. <laughs> I can say that confidently. She, she uses her email. Okay. Cause some people don't, <laughs> um, um, let's talk about the freshness of the content you know, the freshness. Um, I would say they both stay up to par when it comes to the freshness of the content, the updates. It's not uh, Zane PLR. This one right here, I think is new. I just got an email about that. So she's always updated. I get email updates from Zane PLR when she uploads new things to the site. And that's very important. Okay. It's very important because although people may become a customer, um, you know, one time you want to, you want to stay top of mind. That's for any business owner. They both stay top of mind. So I, I know exactly, you know, if I'm ready to purchase something or if something comes to mind, they both are very good when it comes to email, um, your sheet geek as well. Um, when it's time for something new and whether I'm a customer or not, because you, you, as you can see here, she has a freebie so you can get the 200 plus money making low content book you can create that comes straight to your inbox i think i downloaded that on my computer i did okay so i'm gonna give you guys a take on so this you can get this freebie and you get and that will put you on her email list i know every week she sends out a nice newsletter as well i think it's on saturday fridays or saturdays she sends that out so yes this is the swipe file so she does have a swipe file so it's there and i love that um, as a business owner you always want to have something where people can contact you or they can get something free before they even purchase and they both again are great with communication keeping up with the updates very much so um use of feedback and reviews again um i'm i'm you can basically take my review for both of them okay <laughs> you can basically take my review for both of them but your she she does have reviews on her site let's look at zane plr i'm not sure if she has i know shopify is a little different sometimes you don't get reviews unless someone purchases it which is right here so she has a review for these 110 um digital product mock-ups this is great i think i need i need those i do need those um so you do have um that here so that's how she they put their reviews with shopify they don't do it with the whole site they do a per product so if you're ready to purchase a particular product you will see the review here where she has a review for that okay so that's there um also anything else let's see the website's good um everything is good i'm going to link both of them in the show notes again they both have their 
they both have their pros. They both have their cons. One is one is different than the other, but they both serve a particular purpose when it comes to low content books. It's why I wanted to feature them together and how you can um, definitely build a publishing um, empire with low content books right like now <laughs> okay using amazon kdp i know that kim specifically talks about amazon kdp i know that zane plr if you didn't know that from here um she talks about etsy okay so i will say that i'm going to link their youtube videos below as well their youtube channels so you can check their youtube channels out as well so you can you know go and subscribe to their youtube channels again they both have their their good qualities okay they both have their good qualities but both great great services great products and you can make use out of all of them okay so that is all for today's video i know it's a little bit longer than normal videos but i wanted to do an in-depth versus they both is not to put them against each other okay i want to make that clear this is really to allow you to see them both to showcase both of these sites and where you can really get some quality plr what you can do with them and i am team plr because we're all about making our businesses easy okay we do things with ease and then we can support another creative that's great with design great with putting things together and we can swipe our car we get what we need it is a win win okay so until the next time make sure you hit the subscribe button also like this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions about either one of these sites i am definitely a great resource and i can answer them the questions for you okay until the next time don't forget to hit the links in the description to learn about both of these amazing women and their sites have a great one and we'll see you guys next time bye